Hey guys, wanted to bring you another video of the Elgato Game Capture HD60. So we got this in the mail last week. We ordered it um, to get our gameplay up and um, try to build some um, of this channel on um, some videos on some of the games we get to play and try out and uh, review and stuff like that to give more content for all of our viewers and so this is uh, one of the best products supposedly when we looked it up so this is a box and so the thing is um, we had some issues on trying to set it up so when you open the box you get the the device I'll show you, and it will show you, uh, you can see it, the out, right here, the in, so the out is the actual um, TV that you set up, and then the in is the HDMI that is provided with you. Um, that goes on the back of the PlayStation and into the in HDMI here. And then the USB goes here that's provided. It's a 2.0 USB port. So uh, you, you put the, you put that all together. D uh, go to Elgato's website and set up the uh, download and support. You download whether you're a Mac or Windows version. And once you download it, um, you actually have to decide or get the most up updated uh, software for it. So once it's downloaded and extract and everything, you open the software, and once you open it, um, and you plug you plug that power cord. So it was supposed to read and um, detect the signal, and the thing is, it was not doing that right away, um, and it was really difficult uh, to figure out because we, I probably helped and one of our technicians spent maybe about an hour to two hours or so to try to figure this out. We tried looking it up on other YouTube channels or videos, nothing, and, and we were getting frustrated because I guess most people didn't talk about it. And then we also tried looking it up on uh, web forms or anything like that. There was nothing on it. So we figured, okay, we have to um, probably call technical support. And so technical support actually, and we also sent an email because this was Sunday night and today we finally got up and running after talking to technical support. And what happened is that you have to turn off the HDMI um, component because I guess apparently that is one of their biggest pro problems on your PlayStation 4. If you forget or don't turn on the HDMI, uh, it's going to keep saying uh, detecting signal issues and it, it, it will ch keep trying to find it so you have to turn off the HDCP and the way to do that on your PlayStation you gotta go to your settings and then another uh, set of settings on the HDMI and then on there uh, on the s system settings it will have your option to t uh, click off the HD um, sorry, HDCP. Once you click that off, it will ask you yes or no to confirm. You say yes, and then it will have a black blank screen, and it will reset, and then now you're okay to turn it back on that way. So just wanted to give everybody a heads up that uh, if you have a PlayStation 4, that is actually one common issue that's known, and so usually the PlayStation 4 is already set up that way that it has that HDCP uh, clicked on so you want to disable it when you um, get this Elgato HD60 because once we got that up and running it will start recording fine and everything and you got to tweak with some of the systems because when we tried uh, doing it it, um, it had that fuzzy look so it kind of skipped around so and pause so you have to mess around with the setting once you figure it out to capture so we're still uh, playing with the settings but that's one thing that most people don't know to get up and running you got to turn off that HDCP so go ahead and like share comment and subscribe if you have any further questions and hopefully this is helpful to um, help you on trying to get this up and running